welcome back to Cask 529. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. Tonight, I had the opportunity to set up a little blind for Shauna. Um, I thought it would be fun if we tried some of our higher proof stuff and just compared them against each other. And um, these are three bourbons that I know I'm fond of all three of them. Shauna has probably had more of the rare breed than she has the horse soldier or the bullet. Um, but I don't think she dislikes any of them. No, I, I mean, I first tasted the horse soldier when we got it for the veterans show. Mm -hmm. um, but it was only a little amount. I haven't had it since. And you just got the black label last week. So yeah. I just had a little pour of it also. So the rare breed's the one I have had. I can't say I, I mean, it's not my go-to. Um, right, but you've obviously had more of that than you have the others. Mm -hmm. But um, the rare breed is actually the uh, the weakest of what we'll be tasting tonight. Um, it comes in at 116.8 proof. So not quite 117 proof. Yep. The horse soldier comes in at 121.1 proof. <laughs> And the bullet barrel proof comes in at 120 proof. So, um, we have a couple that are probably a little higher than that. And we've got a handful of them that are probably over the 100 proof mark, but below the wild turkey. Uh, but I wanted three that were as close as I could get. I have to say, I think this is a, a really good blind for you. I'm now I'm anxious to do it as well, so don't think that I'm not. But I know, one, how you rave over the rare breed. Mm -hmm. But then after the veteran show, the horse soldier, you know, you, you keep having pours of it. And you said yeah. it's, uh, it's, you really like that. It is really good. And then the other night, this one won out of all the other bullets. Yep. And you told me how much you liked it. So I'm anxious to actually see... I think this blind might be a little bit more for you in my eyes, <laughs> so you can see which one um, well, you like better. But it is a blind for you. Oh yeah, it's absolutely a blind. Because um, so, you know which ones you're tasting. So. Yeah, and, and like I said, this is a blind to Shauna. She obviously knows what we're drinking. She doesn't know what's in which glass. I've got them numbered one to three. And um, we're just gonna taste them see what we think of them, maybe talk about them a little bit, and at the end we'll we'll line them up and we'll see. Are you ready? You're yeah, anxious. I'm anxious. <laughs> okay, so we're starting with number one. A little bit of sweetness, Sweet, some caramel. Yeah. I'm getting some char. A little bit of vanilla. But very, very nice on the nose. I'm I'm liking, I'm hoping it follows through once I take it take a drink. I'm not really smelling a whole lot of heat on no, it. No, I don't either, which is surprising. I mean. Mm. Sweetness carries through. Smooth. It's for higher proof. I mean, I'm not getting the burn. Not it that finishes you would expect. with the sweetness. Uh, the caramel, the char. Got brown sugar in there. I, now that you say it, yes, I can taste the brown mm -hmm. sugar. Maybe a hint of leather. Um, don't laugh, it's in I'm, there. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> laughing. We'll make you chew some more leather so that you I'm can. Not, I'm not chewing any more leather. It's, it's really for good. For your entertainment. I'm not doing it. Nice pour. I, I like it. It's really, really good. Yeah. Definitely, hands down, my favorite one so far. Now, it's probably been an hour since I poured these. Um, I'm thinking this is a blind to me also. <laughs> I think I know what order I poured them in, but I don't remember for sure. <laughs> that happens. Oops. That happens. <clears throat> Going to number two. The 
this one not as much on the nose I don't really get sweet or heat really much anything on the nose picking up a tiny bit of ethanol but not not horrible at all um, not displeasing maybe a little bit of sweetness but not anything on the nose compared to number one I get a lot of oak on the palate, a little bit of char. I don't get a lot of sweet, maybe a little bit of caramel. The finish is kind of sweet for mm -hmm. me. Definitely picking up the oak. Maybe just a tiny hint of like a banana. Um, raisins a sweetness coming from something yeah I can see it, it almost feels like it's still it's still changing to me very good it finishes nice and sweet for me uh, I don't know if I like it better than one but it's it might be number one um, still really sweet on the finish long I, I kinda long get that. finish so I get good that banana you were talking about a little yeah. bit <clears throat> it's it's really weird it, it continues to evolve actually on your palate it does I I'm really liking I love the nose on number one. Honestly, they're both really good. I, I hate the to even... The nose on one, I felt really presented itself as being sweet. Yeah, this one, it is still finishing sweet in my tongue right now. It's like... I didn't really it's, get... It's good. Um, but I am, I'm picking up like that banana, what, you know, a lot of people will reference like the banana nut bread and stuff like that, but I'm right. picking up banana and I'm picking up... I did get caramel. And a little bit of vanilla, um, char. Yeah. Little char, not but no, the oak. The oak um, was. The, the oak, oak is was, present at first, yeah. like it um, hits your palate As first oak. thing. Yep. And but it, then it finishes into all these other flavors. It just is <clears> like a bundle of joy in your mouth. Yeah, it's it's busy. Very busy. I like it. In a good way. Yeah. Tiny, tiny bit of heat as it goes down, but nothing overwhelming at all. Neither of them, I felt, were overwhelmingly warm. Both very good. I think we should say, when you say a tiny bit of heat, mm -hmm. if somebody is new to bourbon or new learning how to drink a little higher proof stuff, that doesn't mean you should take a big gulp. Yeah, no, no, don't take a big gulp because Cause then you're going to have a lot of heat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit of heat if you manage it accordingly. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, we've I know I've done it where I've got a little bit more than I planned on getting and been like, wow, and it kind of chokes you. <laughs> <laughs> Tears your eyes. <laughs> it does tear your eyes. OK, number three. Sweet on the nose. This one. There's no heat on the nose of any of these. No. This one, you're picking up the vanilla, you're picking up caramel, all the good flavors of a bourbon that you want to smell. So one and three have the best noses. I mean. Two was kind of blah. Yeah. It, it wasn't a horrible nose. Not on the palate though. <laughs> but on the palate, number two was awesome. That's really good. It's kind of waxy in my mouth, if that makes any sense at all. It does. I don't. Um, I don't get that, but it does make sense. I. It enters sweet, but then I. It's just kind of, almost like um, 
tasting candle wax. <laughs> Not that I, I don't ate know if candle you remember wax, these but. as kids, but there used to be like pop bottles. They were wax. Oh yeah, yeah. You remember those? I do. Is that kind of what you're getting? Yeah, I think so. Or like if you have a birthday cake and a little bit of wax is dripped on it from Off all the, the candles. candles. Yeah. That's that's the taste yeah. I'm getting. I didn't get that. That's that's a new one. <laughs> I'm still getting it. Um, it does have a sweetness. This one, I would say, is the hottest for me that I'm tasting, like the highest proof. The heat lingers longer. Not horrible, though. It's not, like, it's not. Um, that I, one's I actually mean, got, I actually feel that one on my, on my lip a little bit. It's good. <clears throat> Can't say it's, it's bad because it's not bad at all. Um, a little bit off-putting to me only because I'm getting that waxy taste. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would still definitely drink number three um, if someone gave it to me. Because it's not bad. It's absolutely mm. not bad. None of these are bad. Any, any of these three will, I feel, will stay in our collection. Mm. Here comes Rex. Rex is kind of anxious tonight yeah. here. He's been pacing back and forth. He's been staring at the Christmas tree. He's, I think he's waiting to see if a squirrel jumps out of jumps it for out him. Of the tree. <laughs> for the squirrel. We have a lot of trees around our house and he loves to sit on the porches and watch the chipmunks and squirrels. And I swear he's been sitting on the couch just staring at the tree, waiting for a squirrel to come out of it. It's been fun. But unless that squirrel lived in a box all summer, yep. in the attic. It's not happening. Okay, I'm going to taste these again real quick. Line them up, tell you which one's my favorite. Okay. Got him dancing over there. Mm -hmm. Here soon Rex is going to want his bar stool in between us so he can sit up here with us. Probably once we go downstairs. <laughs> like literally, if you could see him, he has his nose. <laughs> Sitting on the floor with his nose up between us. There he goes. Luckily, he's not the type of dog that jumps up on the counter, but if, if he was, he'd be like right up here. You know, I picked number three up and I'm getting some banana now um, on it as well. I know that I got that, but. And I haven't had bananas today, so I don't know why I'm smelling them all of a sudden. And Rex is awful thirsty. Okay. Lining them up. Oh my goodness, are we the same? Two, one, three. Yeah, I think so. All right. And now for me, <clears throat> two is just, two went to first place for me because just to all the things it mm. does on the palate it's, for yeah. so long after you've, after you've had that sip. It's number two is amazing. Number one's amazing, and, but and one, just not right there with it. One edges in front of three for me because it was so smooth and so easy to drink as a higher proof bourbon, which they all are, but um, 
And three is not, three's really good too. It just, it, it kind of, uh, it means business. Yeah. I guess is how I, is how I would put it. Yep. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't flatter you with all the pleasantries. It just, there it is. I, yeah. Number three is good. I would drink it. I would drink yep. all of these if you poured them for me. Um, that waxy taste I get for number three, that's why it's in third place. But number okay. two is amazing. I mean, the, the flavors just linger and linger and linger. So are you ready to see what you've... Yeah, I guess. What you've scored where? Yeah, so what one's number two, which okay. is our first place. Our first place, which is number two, is... <gasps> no way! Bullet. Barrel <laughs> strength. That's... That's our, that took first place tonight. Wow. And then. Rare breed, breed. The wild turkey rare breed. And horse soldier, which, how I just described that, and I truly couldn't remember what I poured where. Mm -hmm. But um, what I just described that as is, is how I probably would always have thought of it. It's, it's just. It is good, it does have some flavor, but man, it, it brings it right from the go. And you know that it's not to be messed with. Well, here's what I can say. Mm -hmm. That the Bullet Black Label here in Ohio is only released, I think maybe once a year. It might be released twice a year. I, I'm not 100% sure. But it's not easy to find it, regardless. Once it sells out, you have to wait again. Yep. Um, so what I'm saying is we probably shouldn't pick up another bottle of it because yeah. <laughs> well, it, and yeah, and the other thing it's is really good. We can always really, get rid really of good. We can always get yeah. and for Luckily. a long time it was hard to find a horse soldier line, but it seems to be it's <clears> yeah, it's pretty easy. It's for pretty us easy to come across to now. Mm -hmm. So I mean for us, horse soldier is in Ohio. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's it's pretty easy. Yep. Now, it, it wasn't even when we first started getting into bourbon. Um, horse soldier was you didn't find it all on the shelf. Right. Now you can go into the store and find all three bottles of it. Right. Generally. Well, I'm excited that bullet came in. Yeah, and, absolutely. I mean, all of these are pretty reasonably priced, and I forget what they are priced. I think this is the highest it priced is. one. And it may be up in the 80, high 80s. I, either seventy nine ninety nine or in the 80s. And I think Wild Turkey's in the high 40s. 49.99, I believe. Yeah. And, and I think that one's... You picked this one up, so I'm not sure. But I think I, it's either in 49.99 or 54.99, yeah. something I'm like that. I think it might be in the 50s. And I but, apologize, I don't have those numbers at the ready for you. But, but regardless, um, <clears throat> they're all good. I like them all. Um, I'm excited that Bullet came in only because I know <laughs> that you're a Bullet fan. And I, I have to tell you guys, one of our really close friends, we were out with them um, last evening um, at a Christmas party. And he made fun of Brian a little bit for his Bullet Orange label coming in <laughs> last place. I just loved it because... And he laughed and I laughed. <laughs> But they're all bullet and they're all the same um, mash bill besides the rye that he tasted. So, um, but yeah, I just, I, lo I too loved the fact that the orange label came in last place. And you have not, <laughs> you've yet to do that to your Woodford on a blind. Because I will, I will drink any Woodford you hand me. Any, any Woodford you hand me. I will be happy with especially the wheat That's true. the wheat is my favorite though i think yeah i think yeah i think you've become pretty fond of the wheat the wheat is almost my <clears> i wouldn't <throat> say nightly pour because i don't have a nightly pour um because i like to switch it up with some wine just saying <laughs> but if i was having a daily nightly pour it would be the woodford wheat I don't know. I think my my nightly pour varies. It really does. I I like to switch it up amongst bourbons. 
Um, <clears throat> I do. I do still like the bullet orange. It is but great. as we progress down this road that we're on, this bourbon road, um, I, I know that we both are moving towards stronger, higher proof bourbons. We are, and it's kind of fun. I like it a lot. It is, it is, because six months ago. It would have had to have been on ice. Yeah, we, we, we would have, if we even tried it, really. Yeah. I know we tried some stuff early on on the show that normally we wouldn't have tried, but it was like, yeah, we kind of have to. Um, I mean, this is what it's all about. It is. To learn. Yep, it and is. You learn, you compare, you're like, ooh, I like this about that, I like this about that. And you guys, I mean, you may, we're not telling you you got to go out and get every bottle we, we show here, but we're trying to, to give you some positives, pluses, minuses um, of different things. And we're having fun with it. We are. We, we do. <laughs> I mean, literally, we had to make ourselves stop tonight to do yeah, this and do. i'm glad that we did because we needed it it's been it's been kind of a up and down um it's been a bad week yeah it has to be honest um but not the be debbie downers here yeah. so we needed this tonight yep. and so thank you for joining along with us brian and um terry and josh our friends um got the lower bar area poured i did get some video film of that but I'm going to also add in a clip of Brian taking off the mold and stuff tomorrow evening. So the next show that we do, we will inc incorporate um, that part in with it. That way um, everybody can see that it, it's exciting. We're getting closer down there. We um, started and we flipped some houses and stuff like that. So as we get towards the end of a project, we do our little task project. Yep. Um, like check off the list thing. And so we actually created that today. And so whenever we get to that point, I get excited because then, you know, we, there's still a lot to do at that point, but, we, but the ends and you yeah. can see the end out there. And, and now you've got a list that's manageable that you can look at where when you start, the list is so long, you don't even know what to put on the list. Right. Really. Yep. So, so big thank you to um, our friends, Josh and um, Terry, Terry who came over and helped us. Couldn't have done it without them, honestly. And so I, we appreciate it greatly. My back really appreciates it. <laughs> and I don't know, uh, the first night, the first day we poured the top part, it was just Shauna, Terry and I. Well, Josh came for a little bit though. But we to, just couldn't get yeah, anything going, going before Josh right, had yeah. to leave. So <clears throat> um, he helped us with some some molds and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Yep. But when we got to the concrete, he was already gone. Um, and we did we did pretty good that day. But yesterday we I don't know how many bags we actually met ten bags. Was it ten? Yeah, because we took we hauled twelve over here, and Terry took two back to the shop for me. Um, so ten bags mixed poured um i think it was two two and a half hours it was really quick i don't know if it was that long because <laughs> so i have to share this because it's hilarious and i don't mean to make the show run long but it it was funny um so it was a nice day i mean it was it's december now and so Yesterday, you know, it rained all evening, um, but yet the sun started coming out. It was warmer, uh, and so it was a great day to do the concrete. A little muddy, but a little, you know, great. And so I, I said as soon as they got done with the concrete, well, hey, I'm going to get the tile saw out and get the stone started because it's a great day to have the, the tile saw going. And let me tell you. Terry lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> he was so excited because he's been waiting for the stone for to go that on. Step, yep. And so, I mean, there's still some stone to go, but um, we got the whole, um, almost the bar uh, under the under the bar top. We got it pretty well. I would all say laid. yesterday you had over three quarters of it done. Oh yeah. Um, before, before we had to stop. Yeah, before we had to stop. And so there's just a little bit more. We had a, 
a lot of stuff going on today, but um, there's a little bit more to do on that. And then we, we're gonna wrap the pillars and we're gonna do the back where the TV and stuff goes. But it's starting to really come together. It's, it is. It's pretty exciting. It's looking good. We're getting excited. Um, I took some measurements tonight. <clears throat> gonna be picking up trim, door casing. Mm -hmm. I think tomorrow our door handles are all due to arrive. They are, yes. Um, You're going to work on the steps. Got to work on the steps. I'm excited for those to get done because I know they're like an eyesore right now. So they I'm are. Super they have excited. been because <laughs> the house is what 30. It's built in 85, years 86. Old, yeah. 37 years old, somewhere in that area. Um, the steps were just construction grade steps. That's all the previous owner needed. They didn't use the basement for anything other than the washer and dryer were down there. Mm hmm. Um, so with finishing the basement, it was like, yeah, we got to do something with the steps. They've got to look a little bit better than construction grade. <laughs> they got to look a lot of bit better. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that's going to start taking shape this week. Yep. Uh, there's everything that's going to happen this week is going to be like wow factor stuff. I think. Yeah, it is because it's all finishing <clears throat> touches. Yeah. It's not, yep. you know, getting to the meats and bones. really other than other than deforming the countertop and and sanding it and right now it looks pretty rough but we learned with the top that it does look rough at this point mm -hmm. but once it's sanded yep. uh, I can't wait to get it all sanded so we can get seal I know. on it and I'm brighten a, it up. I'm so excited for the sealer. <laughs> yeah it's, that's gonna really brighten it up but but um, I don't want to run the video any longer we we can talk about the basement forever yeah, we're super excited about it <laughs> we are we're excited to be bringing the show to you from down there and we're excited to you know have we have a lot of great friends a lot of great friends um very supportive friends and so we're anxious to get that um done so we can have some get togethers we're looking Let's actually see. um i guess that's our deadline is we have a party planned with our friends a handful of our and friends we're yeah. trying to hit we're trying to hit that deadline. Yep. So maybe there'll be some clips of everybody <laughs> having a good time. Y'all don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, it's Sunday night. We're rolling into the work week. So we hope everybody has a good week. Uh, be safe. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hey, and help us get to 500. <clears throat> I almost forgot because yeah. we're... We, we're 115 away. Okay, so let's get that 500 before the holidays, for before yeah. Christmas, so that I can get that bottle to a lucky winner. And if we can't get there before Christmas, let's get that bottle to them for New Year's. Uh, absolutely. I mean, come on, it's bottle of stag, guys. We've yeah. got to get that out yeah. to someone before the holidays. Bottle of stag. I don't know of any. I don't know of anywhere in the country that stag is just readily available, but. Maybe there is somewhere, but I know in Ohio it's not. But I can guarantee it's not part of a giveaway. No, nobody's giving a bottle <laughs> stack away. <clears throat> I don't think, I've never seen anybody give one away. But Shauna, Shauna will. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, be safe. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>